Hey guys, Jazz here and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Jazz, a radiologist, passionate about making videos, particularly about medicine and, you know, even more so about radiology. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic, teleradiology. You might have heard the term tossed around, but what exactly is it? How does it work? And why is it becoming such a big deal in the world of healthcare? Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what teleradiology is, how it's transforming healthcare, and what it means for patients and healthcare providers alike. So firstly, what is teleradiology? Let's start with the basics. So teleradiology is the process of reporting medical images like x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, or ultrasounds remotely without physically being present at a medical practice. Now, this is made possible by advancing digital technologies. So images are captured in one location, then they're transmitted securely through the internet and then analyzed and reported by a radiologist like me in a completely different place, sometimes even halfway across the world. So for example, I'm currently based in London and report images acquired in Australia. Now you might be wondering, why not just have radiologists on site at you know every hospital? Why do you need somebody on the other side of the world reporting? Well, here's the thing, I guess, firstly, it's a global shortage of radiologists, especially in rural and underserved areas. And teleradiology bridges this gap. So it ensures patients are able to get timely diagnoses no matter where they're located. So how does it actually work? So let's break it down step by step. First, you have image acquisition. It all starts with a patient getting some sort of imaging like an X-ray, MRI, et cetera, at a healthcare facility, whether that be a private practice or an emergency room. The images are then captured by the on-site radiographer and then you have image transmission. So then these images are encrypted and securely sent to a teleradiology company or platform, which you can think of as like a secure Dropbox for medical imaging. Then you have image analysis. Once received, a radiologist logs in, reviews the images and writes a report. This could happen anywhere, whether I'm in my office at home or at work or on the go. And you have report delivery. So finally, the radiologist report is sent back to the referring physician or healthcare facility who then communicates the finding to the patient. The entire process is seamless and often takes just minutes, particularly for urgent cases like traumas and strokes. So why is teleradiology such a game changer? Let's talk about the benefits. So firstly, you have access. So with teleradiology, even a small clinic in a remote town can tap into the expertise of highly trained radiologists in urban practices or even on the other side of the world. You have faster turnaround times on studies so in critical situations like strokes or traumas. Speed is life-saving, so teleradiology ensures that imaging studies are interpreted quickly, no matter where the patient is. Next is also cost-effective for healthcare providers. If teleradiology limits the need for the hiring of on-site radiologists 24-7, which can be expensive. And then you also have improved work-life balance for radiologists. So as a radiologist myself, I can confirm that teleradiology gives you that flexibility to work, obviously, remotely while maintaining the high standards of patient care, but then also having the flexibility to choose the hours that you want to work. And you also have global collaboration. So radiologists can consult with peers around the world, ensuring you know more accurate diagnoses and better outcomes for our patients. So what are the challenges and what are the mechanisms in place to overcome them? So of course, teleradiology isn't without its challenges. So we can touch on a few of these and what's in place to kind of address it. So firstly, data security, since we're dealing with sensitive patient information, maintaining confidentiality is a top priority. This is why all teleradiology systems use advanced encryption and follow strict privacy laws. Technology dependence is another thing. Reliable internet and infrastructure are essential. In areas with poor connectivity, working becomes close to impossible. As you can imagine, each CT scan has thousands of images. So if you have a slow connection, reporting one study will be extremely painful. And then you also have licensing and regulation. So radiologists need to be licensed to practice in the location where the patient is. So your qualification will play a part here in terms of how much work there could be out there for you to do. And then you have maintaining quality. So naturally this is very important, but most teleradiology companies in order to ensure high standards, the teleradiologist will participate in quality assurance programs and many systems will have some sort of AI integration as well. Um, as a second pair of eyes to flag abnormalities, really only in certain studies. The future of teleradiology is definitely exciting. So with advancements in artificial intelligence, image processing, and you know, their internet and connectivity, we're definitely poised to make diagnostic or remote diagnostics faster, more accurate and accessible. 
to even the most remote corners of the world. So remuneration, now this is quite variable like any job and depends on your employer and what they offer. So companies will either offer fixed hourly rates or can put you on a piecemeal model where you essentially get paid per study that you report. And the various studies will have different monetary values attached to them. Naturally, if you work for a company that has this kind of model, with the piecemeal offering and then the amount you earn really just comes down to how much you want to work and there you have it guys a glimpse into the world of teleradiology